In the next section, we will use all the knowledge we have acquired so far collectively in order to look at the closing off procedure, to determine trade profit, and to prepare the financial statements. In order to determine how the business has fared over the financial period, one needs to calculate the profits or the losses of the business. First, we need to determine the gross profit by looking at the trading account. Now, gross profit is concerned with sales and the costs incurred in order to generate those sales. So, sales less the cost of sales is equal to the gross profit. Next, we need to calculate net profit. In order to do this, one must subtract all the expenditures from the income. These incomes and expenditures are then closed off to the profit and loss account. So, income less expenses are equal to net profit. Both net profit and gross profit will be reported in the income statement, and this is done in order to determine the financial result. In order to determine gross profit, we need to work out what the cost of sales are on the sales price. Now the percentage difference between the cost price and the selling price is called the markup, and there are two different methods used in determining the markup. Firstly, markup on cost price. Let's have a look at an example. Goods are sold at 50,000 Rand. Work out the cost price if markup is calculated at 25% of cost. Now how do we do this? There's a simple formula that we can use to derive the answer, and it is the following. 100 over 100 plus the percentage of cost multiplied by the selling price, which in this case is 50,000 Rand, over 1. This is then equal to 100 over 100 plus the 25 percent multiplied by 50,000. This is equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by 50,000 which gives us 40,000. Therefore Cost price is equal to 40,000 Rand.